Welcome to my garden, also known as my medicine cabinet. This is where I help myself prevent disease. Not everything I cook grows here, but someday having more land to live on and share with others is my dream. I believe that food is medicine or is poison. So I turned this small space that was once a junkyard into a place I can feed my body high energy foods from nature that help in the prevention of most modern diseases and alleviate symptoms and reverse disease in its tracks. Hey, just the area here. I'm not a doctor. I'm just a healthy guy that's been living a healthy lifestyle since the age 12. I'm going on 40 and I'm in decent health compared to many of my peers. In my channel, I'll be sharing what I've learned and what has worked for me over the years so that I can prevent many of the diseases so many of us suffer today. I also feel that what I've learned and what I've practiced can also help others because I've seen it. I'll also be sharing my principles and values that I live by that have helped me live with longevity, vigor, and great energetic health. Where Western medicine teaches you to take pills and have procedures, I teach prevention of disease, which helps us experience less sickness, less colds and coughs and sore throats, ailments and symptoms. I don't suppress them. I like to get down to the root and pull it out so that the grass and weeds can't grow back. Where many have learned that over-the-counter medications and things like that I share my garden, which is my pharmacy, which is my energetic place to feel at my own, and putting love into the earth, putting love back into my body. I feel that will help me live a more energetic life and be able to help others grow as well because I'm not the only one on this planet. I can sit around like a hermit and just be blissful and healthy. But I've looked around since the age of 12 and that's how I learned because I've seen the suffering so many go through and I want to be part of the fabric of change to help other people and to become the person I felt I've wanted to be for a very long time and through all the distractions and everything we face every day it's very hard to but I feel finally ready after thinking and learning and feeling down about it for so long I can no longer be alive on this planet without sharing with you how I go about and what I've learned that's helped me and others. I teach independence and self-help care. That's what I've learned works and I've learned the other way doesn't work very well. There's certain procedures and things that can save your life if you have a clogged heart valve, but wouldn't you like information that would prevent that valve from being clogged in the first place and not having to either have your chest ripped open to have a procedure or someone go up your groin to do surgery. We are our first line of defense against disease. And with enough of us out there living this type of lifestyle, we can change the fabric of which things are going that is not sustainable. It's already starting to fall apart at the seams and COVID has exposed many of our weaknesses. It isn't legal for me to not tell you to go see your doctor first though. Make sure you go see your doctor because I don't want to get into trouble for a bunch of lawyer stuff and whatnot, whatnot, because somebody had, with a lot of power controls everything we can do. A lot of it makes sense, a lot of it don't. But I'm sure that's what you've been doing, and I know the results of that. I've seen it. Health and independence are important to me, and I feel that they give the citizens of great nations ability to help that nation stay strong, and get through many things. Great nations need great citizens. Disease and the decline of its citizens is the decline of the nation. If you want to know the future of a nation, look at its people. Poor health and dependence promote inability. This is the decay of great civilizations, like we are experiencing today in America and many places around the world. 
countries of the future won't be the sick, the diseased, the uninspired, the disabled, the enabled. Countries of the future go to the wise, the intelligent, the healthy, one in which community members work together in making their societies better, their nations better, their states better, their cities better, and overall making a better world when everyone works together. A sick, decaying world doesn't last. They work together instead of compete and become divided. With poor leaders, we're the ones that are starting to see the negative effects of so many years of this. In an ultra-competitive world, great nations need great values and principles and things to live up to. Not things that we see on television, movies, and music, and all these distractors, many of them great, when that's all we do and that's all our perception and values become. This is why a lot of us are experiencing all these different types of depressions and anxieties. It's because we're trying to live up to something someone else wants of us instead of doing what's right within ourselves with each other. Our health isn't just good for ourselves and our nation, it's also good for the planet and future generations to come. Just because there's 8 billion of us on this planet does not mean we are not an endangered species. If you've tried all the Western medicine has to offer in pill taking, doctor after doctor, and you are not seeing results, give us a try as the world is opening up to healthcare alternatives. With times changing and systems overstretched, it's time we get proactive and seek independence first. Healthcare starts with you. Healthcare reform starts in your kitchen, mind, and pantry. Leave medical emergencies for the professionals and get educated on how to have less health issues that lead to emergencies. Disease accumulates gradually and then happens all of a sudden. Poor health of America and the world has become a national security threat. I help lead the path to prevent this fate. I'm starting with my garden to help spread awareness to my community and beyond. If you wish to help the cause, it's 2022, you know what to do. Let's get the word out. Let's join forces, communicate down in the comments. Let's get a conversation going. Let's join forces, tribes, and let's get things done. Have a great day. Cheers to your health.